Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Today's video was a special request from one of my subscribers. How am I getting my audio from the Pseudotac ST800 microphone? It's like a under $50 microphone on Amazon. What am I doing to get that to sound really rich and smooth? So here's the secret sauce. I use a program called Audacity. Now, the great thing about Audacity is it's completely free. Yes, a free DAW. And by the way, DAW stands for Digital Audio Workspace. So if you have a laptop or a desktop or a Mac, you can get Audacity. The only things you can't run Audacity on would be a smartphone or a tablet. Now, Audacity recently did an update, and they removed one of the key features that I used in my equalization process. So what I'm going to do is run you through all of the new steps on how to equalize a very inexpensive microphone to get it to sound really rich and buttery smooth. But le I'm, listen, I am not an audiophile. I just want to put it out there and be honest. I am not an audio engineer. So these are the steps that I take. If you feel like they're not comprehensive enough, I haven't gone through the program enough, go seek another channel. I'm sure you'll find other videos that are more in depth, but a lot of them have not yet done the update of the Audacity. So they may be talking about features that are no longer in Audacity 2.3. One of the channels that I really recommend if you're using Audacity or if you're using another DAW like Audition, check out another channel. His name is Mike Russell. Now he is a true audiophile. The great thing about his channel is he has this super sexy accent and you, I can listen to that cat all day. And I have. So what we're going to do is jump over to my laptop and I'm going to show you all of the steps that I'm taking to get that Pseudotac ST800 or any inexpensive microphone to sound really rich and smooth. So after you've downloaded Audacity, let's go ahead and double click on it to launch it. Now that it's launched, what you want to do, go up to help. If you're unsure of what version of Audacity that you're working with, go on and hit help. Go down to About Audacity, and that is going to show you which version that you have. Now, I have 2.3.3, and that is definitely the newest version. Some of you have the 2.2, and if you have 2.2 and you're happy with it because that still has the equalization mode in it, go ahead and keep it. No need to update it because they've taken a bunch of stuff out. So the first thing that we want to do is get ourselves a nice audio sample. Whenever you're recording audio in any DAW, for the first few seconds, don't say anything. That's going to give that software a nice, clean sample of the noise floor. It's really going to help it in the uh, denoising process. So that's what we're going to do right now. Go ahead. I'm going to hit record. This is an audio sample to see how well Audacity can make a super inexpensive microphone like the ST800 sound really good. And of course, we're going to stop it right here. So... You'll see in the very beginning, I left that big gap so that we can denoise it. But before we do that, I want to make sure to save this. So I'm going to choose File, and I'm going to go to Save Project, and I'm going to go Save Project As. And I am going to name this Pseudotac Mic Raw Sound. So it's saved right from there. This way, when we go back to listen to what the EQ'd version sounds like we'll understand by the raw version of what that sounded like. Okay, so we've done that. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead, save project, save project as, and now I'm going to put pseudotac mic with EQ. So that raw sound is saved. We're not going to lose that. Okay, the very first thing that we want to do, of course, is make sure that we clean out the audio sample. We want to remove any little bit of noises. And how we're going to do that is by highlighting that empty area that we recorded right in the beginning. So just take your cursor and highlight that entire area. Now let's go to Effect. And we are going to go down to Noise Reduction. Hit Get Noise Profile. And by hitting that, it's going to read and understand the background noise. Now what you want to do is hit Control-A to highlight the entire audio line. Go back to Effect. Go back down to Noise Reduction. And we are going to hit 
I like all of these settings. Pretty much every time Audacity suggests something to you, it's usually right on point. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep those settings and hit OK. So that is going to denoise the entire audio line. Before we jump into equalization, being that this is the brand new version of Audacity, they have removed several features. So what we want to do is get as many features back as we possibly can. So what we want to do is go to Effect, and we want to go to the very top where it says Add and Remove Plugins. And that is going to list all of the plugins that you have within Audacity. But what we want to do is go over to Disabled. This is going to show you all of the different things that have been disabled. I've already enabled several things, so your list may be considerably longer. So go ahead and hit Select All, choose Enable, and now we're going to choose OK. So that is going to make all of those features go live. Okay, so before we start equalizing or doing anything, I want to delete out a portion of the beginning of this noise track, like the first couple seconds, because when we go to randomly listen to it, we don't want to listen to, you know, a few seconds of dead air. But I still want to leave an, a little bit of open air there because I might want to denoise it again once we're done with everything. I just have to wait and see, though. Okay, so once again, we are going to hit Control-A to highlight the entire audio track. So the first step, let's go to Effect. Now, the first step in equalization would be to go to equalization, but equalization isn't an option any longer. So in its place, we have to go to filter curve. So we'll go ahead and bring that up. Now, let me go to manage. You can always save your presets if you've made certain things. Uh, you can save them as presets. So let's go to my preset. This is what I think is going to be the best area for male voices. So you see how I brought all of this down, basically knocking out everything in this area? That's because everything in this area will never be generated by a human voice. That's like machinery, jackhammers working in the background, the rumble of an AC or a heater. Something that's inhuman is all going to live in this area. That's why we want to completely cut it out. I think in one of my older tutorials, I just told you guys to do, you know, being that we were doing it fast and quick, quick and dirty. We're doing it quick and dirty. I had you do a treble boost and a bass boost. And with that bass boost, we were highlighting these noises. So, you know, the more that you use software, the more you understand things, I realized that that was a mistake. All of this needs to be cut out. So these are the recommended settings for gentlemen. Women, yours is going to be different. You can actually cut all the way up to probably about 90 hertz and bring this hump all the way over to about 140 hertz because your voice is going to be a little higher unless you have a deeper voice like I do. So let's go ahead and I am going to just hit flatten. And that is going to flatten that line out. So we are going to go step by step together through this. So what you need to do is create little nodes here. So you just want to put your cursor on the area and click to create a node. And I'm going to go over to right about the 60 hertz line. Click and I'm going to hit another node. Now I'm going to drag this first node down. I'm going to pull it right down to the very bottom there. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this second node, and I'm going to bring this guy up to about, I'm going to boost this up to about, I think about six decibels right there. I'm going to drop this down, make it, now I'm going to make another node at about 100 hertz, make another node there, and just pull the rest of this line down to right about the 100 area. So that is going to be the increase of the bass area. So now what we want to do is pitch up the treble. We're going to make a node right about at the 3000 hertz area. Click a little over from it again. And now, of course, we're going to bring this up to about 6 decibels as well. Okay, so what we want to do now is just get a little preview of how this sounds. So let's go ahead and hit preview to see what this sounds like. This is an audio sample. Okay, I like the way that sounds, so what I'm going to do is hit OK, and that is going to apply those changes. The next step in the equalization process is going to be to normalize. So let's go back up to Effect, and we're going to go down to Normalize. 
And this is going to give you some recommended settings. Let's just go ahead and hit OK because Audacity is really good at giving recommended settings. And you can see how the waveforms increased after we did the normalization. After we do normalization, now what we're going to do, go back to effect. And we are going to go down to compression. Go to compressor. These are the recommended settings that I have for your compression. So your threshold is going to be at 30 decibels. Noise floor, 50 decibels. Ratio is going to be 3 to 1. If you're doing anything that's more professional, you might want to bring that ratio up 4 to 1 or 5 to 1. And the attack time and release time, we're going to make this work really hard. We want it really fast and smooth, so we are going to have these all the way down to 0.1 and 1 second. So let's go ahead and listen to preview again. This is an audio sample to see how well Audacity can make a super inexpensive and once again, I think that sounds really good, so let's go ahead and hit OK. After this, we're going to run the normalize process, but before we do that, I need to know where we are. So I'm going to run the audio, and I'm going to pay attention to see if we're clipping when we're running the audio. This is an audio sample to see how well Audacity and we are clipping. super inexpensive microphone like the ST800 sound really good. Okay, so I think let's go ahead and hit Control A to highlight the entire audio line. Effect, let's go back to normalize, and I think I'm going to do probably four decibels. And see what I mean? Audacity perfectly picked four decibels as well. So whenever you're going with presets for them, you know, I think it's okay to listen to the software because it it, it is really good. So that is going to be that. Let's listen to it one more time to see if we hear any noise. This is an audio sample to see how well Audacity can make a super inexpensive microphone like the ST800 sound really good. So, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way that this sounds. Um, I didn't hear any of the ambient noise, and there's actually a lot going on as I'm recording this. There's an exercise bike going. There's other stuff. There's TVs in the background. And I really didn't pick up on any of that noise. I could, of course, again... Choose this area again and go to, if we weren't happy with the amount of noise that was taken out of there, we can go through the noise reduction process again. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Control A to choose the entire audio track. Go back to effect and do noise reduction again and hit OK. And that will denoise the audio one more time. So believe it or not, you can do this two or three times any more than that it may get distorted but if there's something in the background you really want to pull out go ahead and run that denoiser a few times is there more that you can do with these effects absolutely there's actually uh i had installed a de at one point to uh help reduce some of those nasty s's that i say and i think it's this one spitfish so let's open up the spitfish de and let's do Let's hit play and see what it sounds like. This is an audio sample to see how well Audacity can make a super inexpensive microphone like the ST800 sound really good. And that really pulled the S-y hissiness that I normally have out. So I am going to apply that for sure. That was awesome. Now we're going to hit close. So now I want to delete out this blank area here. Delete that out. And I am going to file and I'm going to save project and just hit save project again. And that's going to save that under the first name. Hopefully that made sense. If not, I will again recommend Mike Russell's channel. He's really awesome. In case you weren't able to really appreciate the audio pre and post production, I'll go ahead and drop some raw sounds of that right now. This is an audio sample to see how well Audacity can make a super inexpensive microphone like the ST800 sound really good. This is an audio sample to see how well Audacity can make a super inexpensive microphone like the ST800 sound really good. As far as this microphone goes, you get the whole entire kit for under 50 bucks. The microphone, the scissor arm, the cable, and it's a plug and play microphone. You plug it in and it's ready to go. It also comes with a pop filter. So if you're not a fan of these foam pop filters, you also get one of these guys. 
And I think that this is a sweet little microphone for under 50 bucks. If you're looking to get started with podcasting or gaming, this could be a really good option for you. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, wear your sunblock.